Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple HTML table using JavaScript. It's pretty simple, let's get started. Let's create a new project in Visual Studio, add two files, the first file index.html and the second file is script.js. Ok, first open index.html and let's add the style of our table. To do this, Add the link to style sheet with the URL. I use a bootstrap style. You can use the same. I'll, I'll provide a link to the code in the video description. OK. Next, create a table with table class. I use this class from the bootstrap. Inside table, let's create columns. Class we use from bootstrap 2. It's a background info. And let's Add columns inside this class. Team H, company, next revenue, and next country. OK. Refresh the page and we see our columns with this bootstrap style. Let's go ahead. Next, let's add the body. The body with ID. ID is company's table. OK. Close the body and inside body, let's add. The title of our table Top 10 Biggest Companies by Revenue. OK, let's refresh the page and we have the title of our table. It's good. I have a mistake. Let's fix. That's better. And finally, let's run JavaScript file. Script and what's the script? Resource is equals script.js. That's good. Go to our script, JS. In this video, I'll create an array of data for a table. If you are interested, I will record a video on how to use dynamic JSON data received from the server. Let's create a variable companies data equals array and let's add data to our array. The first column is company. Let's add company is Apple, then then I have a mistake because we need to rename it. Instead, second company, we need to write revenue. Refresh. That's OK. The next column is revenue is, for example, 100 billions. And the third column is country. Country is USA. Then comma. I copied 10 companies for our table. Next, we need to build table with company's data. Let's create the function build table with data and in the function next let's create table variable equals document next dot get element by id and what's the id? Let's see it. id is a company's table. Let's add this name here. OK. It's a mistake. Var variable. OK. And next Let's create a for loop to add rows one by one from zero element to the last element. Let's create a row equals tr. We need to use back single quotes here. OK. And let's add data inside tr tags with td tags. We need to use data i element dot company. Next, copy this code. Instead, company write revenue. And the last column is country. OK. And finally, let's add the next row. Table dot inner HTML equals plus one row. OK. Let's refresh the page. All rows have appeared at the table. It's good. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a good coding. See you next time.